Saj, welcome back to Joy Knows. Thank you so much for being here. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to book a personal, the information is below. If you'd like to join members, just go on the page and click join. We're going to say a quick prayer, and then we're going to go ahead and get into it. So, Holy Spirit, please use me to guide Saj on what's going on, what to expect, and what to look forward to. Please always keep them feeling safe, loved, and protected. Amen. It is currently 2.12 p.m. Today is November 20th of 2023. I hope you guys are doing well. So the first thing I'm hearing is this is very unlike you, okay? All the Sagittarius that I know in my life, these are very happy, free-spirited people. And for whatever reason, I just feel like something has you outside your normal like disposition. So I was hearing the word blasé, and when I looked it up, it pretty much means unimpressed or indifferent to something because one has experienced it or seen it so often all right so this could be a relationship you know maybe there's been a routine and things have grown a little bit stale um this could also be a situation where i'm seeing it's like going to a comedy show and seeing like the same comedian but they keep telling the same jokes over and over and it's like okay this is you know, this is unimpressive now, or it's almost like, say, you know, a reality show, like when you can tell they're running out of content, they're running out of material, and they're just like giving anything, it's like, okay, something's redundant. It also, one more thing, it feels like, it sounds a little bit juvenile, but I'm seeing like a school bully, you know, and it's like the kids, they're not impressed anymore. It's like the same insults every day. It's getting really pathetic. I don't know. I'm just getting this blasé energy with something, no matter what it is, okay? So I feel like this reading is going to be significant between 2.30 and 4 o'clock p.m. on whatever day that you see this. But yeah, look what fell on the floor. It's like you're just exhausted by something. You're depleted by something. I feel like you need some sort of excitement in your life, okay? So um, go back in your camera roll to June 16th. I believe that's the day that we did the Sagittarius reading. It's called Monday is your first day of forever. Today's Monday. I feel like that reading is significant for you. It may have a couple of the same messages there, but I definitely feel like that's going down for you today. It may be the day that you come to terms with this, the day that you realize something needs to change. I'm also seeing where somebody's like super flashy and it's like becoming unimpressive because you can see through it. But yeah, you could be dealing with a half Capricorn here, a Pisces a Sagittarius like yourself or a Gemini all right I'm hearing I'd rather be at home with my candles for some of you you may make candles or this may be something that you're interested in something that you want to do I'm also getting a situation where I was half here you're surrounded by assholes it's like you feel like you're an anomaly you feel like you're the only like compassionate caring person I'm seeing just like a whole bunch of pigeons around you um but here's your energy you know so take it how it resonates yeah i feel like you're about to manifest something new but you know when it's like a transitional period and you're still a little bit a part of the old but you know you're ready for the new it's that in between phase all right so okay You may be like the only person, I'm hearing the odd one out, like there could be something that separates you, especially if this is within a job or something like that. Like say you work with all Caucasian people and you're the only Hispanic person. I, I don't know, there's something that makes you feel different. But I'm seeing like the differences emphasize, like the elephant in the room or like I'm seeing a sore thumb, like something's noticeable I'm just i don't know um i feel like the yak is your spirit animal at this time and it symbolizes purity strength and courage in buddhism i feel like the yak hold on one second the meaning's a little bit deeper than that So yeah, according to Buddhism, a yak's head, eyes, intestines, hair, hoofs, and heart were transformed into the sun, the moon, the stars, the rivers, the lakes, the forests, and the mountains. 
Wow, the yak bones represent its spirit and are a symbol of purity, strength, and courage. So the yak spiritually kind of feels like something that's all encompassing. And Sagittarius being ruled by Jupiter expansion, that gives me the same vibe. It's like Sag is everything, everywhere. But I feel like that pizzazz, that magic has been like, I don't know. It's been put out, but I feel like you're about to get it back. So let's continue. I feel like you're going to have to pay $32.80 for something. Some of you may be thrifting, like thrifting and then sewing. Yeah, cancer here. Or maybe this is something that you do to kind of like chill your mind, you know? You guys may create with your hands. So in four days, on the 24th or four days from the day that you see this, I feel like you're going to be saying goodbye to something for good. I'm hearing I wish you well. But yeah, cancer energy, you're moving forward into something else. I also see a situation where it's like you're looking at something else, wanting to be a part of like a new world. I'm seeing Ariel, you know part of your world and I feel like in the next four days you're going to walk into that world that you're I'm hearing craving or longing to be a part of I'm seeing a video camera some of you may work in film or photography or something like that I was also hearing a Leo may help you lighten up I'm seeing you laughing with this person because you've been sad at home isolating like wanting a new version a new lively version of yourself I'm also seeing Tilikum he was that whale that orca um at sea world and he was trapped in the um you know the pool for all these years instead of being in the vast ocean with other orcas with his family it's like he was isolated he was confined that's really how you guys feel right now and the first thing that came out if i'm not mistaken was the orca the depleted whales for you for some of you you could be exhausting yourself mentally because you're thinking about something over and over especially at night it could be bringing you lots of anxiety i'm seeing a capricorn Something about Hawaii, Daytona, or Arizona could be significant. Also, a BMW, a Maserati, or a Prius. You may drive these cars. If so, you may have to take one or some of them to the body shop. You may realize that somebody's half evil. I'm getting Virgo energy, Sagittarius energy. Seeing somebody with like a very exaggerated mustache here. I'm seeing vans, somebody wear, may wear vans every day. I'm also seeing something about Asian descent. This could be you or somebody else. But yeah, don't forget to check out um, Monday, 24 hours, your first day of for, forever, because I feel like this is part two of that. All right. Um, also beware of people kind of lurking around your house. Make sure you're keeping all your doors, windows locked. Um, we got a private security message in the Scorpio reading that I just did, and I'm getting that for you as well. I'm seeing like security put in place to make sure nothing goes awry. Yeah, 10, 10 here. Or maybe you didn't think that you needed certain things, but now like as of today, you might be realizing that you need to implement certain security measures for whatever reason, like a video camera, like a ring. So something may actually happen today where it's like, oh, hell no, like, we need some cameras around here. Mm -hmm. Like it would be dumb not to. Um, also, there's this quote from the 16th, and it says, someday everything will make perfect sense. For now, laugh at confusion, smile through the tears, and keep reminding yourself that everything happens for a reason. I'm hearing the name Wayne. I'm hearing that song that's like, can't Wayne with it, can't Wayne with it, can't Wayne with it, yeah. <laughs> also, in the last Scorpio reading, I was telling them, like, they're going through a back door when it comes to them meeting their significant other. You guys also have four days, the same exact timing that Scorpio had when it came to meeting somebody. So you may meet a Scorpio here also on the 16th. Um, I want to show you this video. I probably showed it in that other reading, but I'll show it again just in case you don't watch it. But I don't know where I was, somewhere in LA. I went to this place. It looks like a refrigerator, right? But then you go in and it was like a party. So you may go somewhere. Um, 
But what I told Scorpio with that backdoor energy before I even related to this, um, I told them that I feel like spirit's taking them on the road or the path that's less traveled. So just take it how it resonates. As Scorpio season ends going into your season, there definitely could be some overlap there. But uh, change is a theme that's going to be prevalent for the both of you. So be looking out for it. You have four days. All right. So let's get into it. I also feel like over the next four days, you're gonna be able to pinpoint what has changed your energy, you know? Like at what moment did things go from this expansive, beautiful, happy, vibrant Sagittarius energy to like feeling like Tilikum, you know? Um, let me see. I was gonna get some message. Oh, <laughs> bottom of the deck, book. All right, so let's see if I have any additional story just writes itself i guess we do have some additional messages for you i feel like an aquarius may confirm something like you may have a talk with a friend and they may put something into perspective for you like somebody that knows you well because this could be a thing maybe you didn't even realize that something's changed within you and somebody else points it out like you said sag you're not yourself lately or this is unlike you oh yeah nice nice okay so for Sagittarius um yeah the readings for this week let me just make a note sorry you have the storm is brewing part one and part two that's going to be linked for you below um also bambi bites back and the attitude of gratitude so you're stepping out of this current funk that you're in and you're walking into the attitude of gratitude maybe that bambi bites back energy whatever's been like kind of keeping you down that may be you needing to step into your energy to kind of like combat that even if it's just like a mental thing you know like when you feel yourself sinking or going into a slump you stand back up and you're like no we're not gonna do this like this we're gonna come fight come back this i almost said bite so yeah bambi bites back right there um you're very close to achieving your goal but there's something that you need to release you have isolation from a king of cups scorpio cancer pisces so that could be something that's affecting you here you need to go with the flow and make sure that you use your discernment all right that's all i'm gonna give you for now and if anything else comes up then i'll let you and on more um okay yeah yeah it's a lot of little surprises in there god bless okay so it's time for you guys to have a new experience i just keep hearing lackluster I'm seeing jumper cables, like maybe like an elixir energy. There's something that you need to do to kind of like charge yourself back up. I'm hearing clear, you know, uh, celebration. Some of you, if you've been like in the house, if you've been alone, maybe it's time for you to go out and have fun. I don't know any Sagittarius that doesn't love to party. So yeah, you need to shape shift. Aw, some of you are grieving love right now. You could have been dealing with the Pisces, but love came out in reverse with grief upright. So if that's the situation and you know, you want to heal the proper way, you don't want to just like jump into a new situation that's never healthy, nor that does it really ever end well. Um, but it's like, you're trying to figure out how to fill that void, how to make yourself happy. For a lot of you, like I said, you need to dance. You know, I feel like if you just kind of put yourself in an environment, even if you don't necessarily feel like it, that's the jumper cable that you need. That's like the clear, you know, that you need that's going to fix you. It's like I see you like in the middle of a party and then all of a sudden you just like snap back into yourself. Freaky Friday style, you know. Some of you could have lost a pet, hopefully not. But yeah, um. 
I just feel like the time alone, the isolation is starting to work against you, you know, and now you kind of need to just like put yourself back in a familiar environment. Even if it's uncomfortable at first, I feel like it's going to do wonders for you. Mm -hmm. Like the more you kind of just like sit at home, uh, worried about whatever this is, focus on whatever this is, like the more you're kind of putting more baggage on that energy instead of like focusing on something else, letting that energy free itself and take it where it's going to go and then come back around the way it's meant to. Like the more you just kind of sit on it, the heavier it gets. So your, your guides want you to distract yourself. All right. So let me see. You have humor in reverse, blame here. Like maybe you haven't really been laughing much. You could feel guilty. Like I'm seeing a guilty conscious. I'm hearing like I don't deserve to laugh. Like what? Regret here? Yeah, I've never seen a Sagittarius reading like this. What I will say, when everything's said and done, I feel like your abundance is going to be restored. I see your luck is going to be restored. Also, you're going to have an abundance of new friends. Like I said, if you were surrounded by assholes and you felt like you were an anomaly amongst these people, you're going to have an abundance of friendships, people that you can count on, people that you feel like you relate to here. So that's what you're walking into. This season isn't forever. You need to remember, it says, I am a limitless being. I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. You need to remember your purpose. Tap back in with that. I know what I am here to do. You know, that's what's going to fuel you. Then you have peace and then you have loneliness in reverse. So yeah, it's just time to shift. Like you just got to shift your mind. There's a Virgo reading. It's called reprogramming of the mind, but like allow yourself to have peace. Whatever happened in the past, okay, it happened. You clearly needed to learn something from it. Something wasn't wrapped up yet, but you don't need to continue to beat yourself up because that's not helping anybody, especially not you. Um, yeah, for a lot of you, this could be about a relationship that's no longer in your life. This fell on the ground here. You may need to do shadow work when it comes to this relationship. What did I learn? What was it trying to teach me? Why did I attract this into my life? Where am I going to go from here? Okay, like what part of this relationship did I like? What part of this relationship did I not like so much? So when I'm attracting a new person, I know what works for me and what doesn't. So I feel like now is like dissecting time. We did the grieving here. We did the blame. We did the pity. We did all that. So now it's time to kind of like dissect, like get to the map of it and really tap into your Gemini energy looking at both sides so now you know how you want to move forward ultimately but I don't feel like this cycle of quote-unquote loneliness and isolation is for much longer um it's just so I just feel like something feels heavier because it's so different than the energy that you're just naturally in you know and if this is something heavy, like maybe it scared you because you're normally able to shift yourself back pretty quickly from certain things. But maybe this is something for the first time it really stung or like for the first time something. Yeah, it's like you weren't able to just shake it off. So, you, you know, there's some deep soul work that has to happen before you can release something in its entirety and move forward. So, yeah. OK, but like I said, over the next four days, especially if you're meeting a Scorpio or collaborating with a Scorpio, um spirits putting somebody in your life to help you on this new path of newness of finding the enjoyment in the small things you know of remembering why you were created a Sagittarius because you're meant to stretch and expand and go the distance and meet everyone and learn all the languages and eat all the foods you know you're gonna get that zest for life back yeah abundance beautiful I'm hearing the song lust for life you may want to go listen to that I'll put it in the description box below Shuffle for um, Sagittarius. Okay. Yeah, over the next three days, over the next three days, you're coming into a collaboration with somebody. It's almost like I'm seeing somebody, you're the person, and you're like walking along the desert by yourself. And it's like, damn, how am I going to get to the other side? What if I run out of water, you know? And then suddenly this like 
horse appears and they're like here i'll help you almost out of nowhere it's like they just come through this little portal so this person that's coming over the next three days this is your horse all right this is going to be your rock this is going to be your companion this is going to be your right hand man you know so whatever it is that you need spirit sending you somebody and i definitely feel like this is in the form of friendship I was thinking about this earlier, like friendship is so, so important. A lot of people see the two of cups as so insignificant when it's one of the most significant cards. And let me tell you why. No matter how a relationship develops, if you don't have friendship, you don't have much. If all you have is attraction, okay, cool. So say down the line, you have some real shit y'all need to work through, right? But then when real shit happens, real personalities come out. And then sometimes people come to realize damn, like, I don't even like who this person is. It was all just attraction. Whereas when you have a genuine friendship on um, whatever capacity of what's going on in that dynamic, no matter what's happening, you will always be able to meet each other where you first had that respect. It's like, fuck all this other stuff. Let's get back to where we know we were, where we know we can meet each other eye to eye, where we found that love, where we found that friendship, and then we can work through it that way. If you don't have friendship, as soon as one thing happens, everything's just done. Everything has exploded, you know? So a friendship is one of the most important things, um, the most important part of a relationship, if not the most important part of the relationship that you'll have, you know? So it's not to be taken lightly. Friendship is never to be taken lightly. That's the one thing that saves and keeps respect, keeps the love, Main, like while things are tumultuous or while things could be rocky, you know? So um, yeah, Two of Cups energy is important. And I feel like that's where you're being led, like genuine, true friendship, no matter what happens, you know we see each other eye to eye on some basis so that's going to be a beautiful experience for you i feel like this could be an aquarius or a scorpio anything else for sag i'm hearing you got a friend in me yeah look at you now it's like okay now i remember what i need to do you know you got your spark back so okay yeah and then you have commitment here so the next two to three days, just be um, be prepared for spirit to align you with some cool new people, all right? Anything else for Saj? I just wanted to clarify that, but we can just move on to the next step. Some of you may dream of this beforehand. Also, Saj, I feel like a big thing is maybe you've lost yourself with the people that you've been around. So it's like you're needing to kind of like remove the mask you've been wearing and step into like your real true energy again. Like even if it hasn't been supported, even if it hasn't been respected, I feel like the people you're about to meet, they're going to love you for who you are. So if you felt like you've had to kind of put on this quote unquote happy face, brave face, you know, you can take all that off take all the makeup off you know remove all the excess because these people they're gonna love you for who you are you know organically authentically and everything that you come with you don't have to put on a face you don't have to put on a mask you don't have to put on anything you know you just show up as who you are for some of you these are people from your past you're reconnecting with Yeah, heavy on the Aquarius and heavy on the Scorpio. You pulled once again. It's like spirit literally made the choice to send this person to help you heal. You see? This could be, um, I'm seeing Cancer, heavy on the Cancer, heavy on the, um, yeah. Yeah, air right here, Aquarius and Scorpio. So, okay. Wow, and then you have 1212, you have the scribe, you have the hero. Yeah, maybe something will develop, you never know. But for now, I just feel like you need to focus on the healing, all right? Yeah. And going back to the friendship thing, look at these cards. You see how they're sitting here? You see how she has her eyes, but he doesn't? 
but they still both have that third eye on their head. It's like even when he's not able to see clearly, but she still can, they're still able to meet each other, you know, where that third eye is, where everything began or where it started. So I'm getting like a really divine sense of purity from this. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Aw, this is real cute. Okay. Let me just see. Anything else? Yeah, you're walking into a new contract, you guys. The new contract. You came out strong, fire, masculine energy with the king of skeptors here. I think this is our first time using this deck. Okay, what they want you to do. Ooh, you're ending with the Emperor and the Chariot. Beautiful. So you're about to completely submerge yourself into a new reality, right? So what they need you to do is to relinquish the need to be concerned about what the past is doing, what the past has going on. It is none of your concern. Page of Swords in reverse here ace of swords in reverse it's not of your truth it's not of your concern you know what i mean so just focus on what it is that's in front of you what it is that you're getting involved in now the only way that you can like i'm seeing a like that the only way the negativity can pull you back into that dark place that spirit's working so hard to get you out of is if you continue to focus on the past focus on the things that didn't matter focus on the things that hurt you that's the only way other than that you're moving forward you're shooting for the stars here. You have a lot to look forward to. Let me see what fell on the ground here. Some of you may be withholding your energy from a uh, um, Taurus Virgo Capricorn feminine energy. This could be somebody who you had a lot of emotions for in the past, but you could be realizing that it's like it's something's toxic or something's repetitive if you continue to like keep engaging here. So you may be making that final decision to just like kind of restrict your energy, whether this is indefinitely or just for a while. Yeah. So, okay, let me just clarify anything else for Sag. We pulled a maiden of clarity. We got it all. So, all right, Saj. God bless. Um, I will see you guys next time and take care.